Hey guys, um, today I have something I want to share with you guys and this is about a board you can have in your classroom. I know most teachers will probably have an English corner, you know, where you have a board that you can paste stuff on it, you know, regarding English. But today I want to share something different, though it's still a board. But, um, we were looking at this board from a different angle, from a different perspective. So this board is actually made up of um, a calendar, the topic of the month, weather, a holiday of the month, and a section for a quiz. So to share my experience since I created this board, um, it's been really fun you know, having to have this board in my classroom and having to change stuff on it every month, you know, it has given me, uh, you know, a different way to interact with my kids because whenever I change something on the board, um, they, you know, they come up and be like, oh, what's this, what's that, you know, it gives them the chance to ask more questions to interact more even with their own peers when things keep changing on the board every month that kind of be like um, a way to introduce stuff to them and a way for them to learn more and really practice their own English you know so I'm gonna walk you guys through this board the first section of this board is a calendar where you can change the month can change the positions of the days and the, the weekend and holidays are actually in red and you have a, a little small section where you can have simple sentences or vocabulary about a calendar and this board is designed to be for K3. The second section is about weather where you put pictures of the various weather conditions up and you write you know a simple vocabulary or simple uh, sentence structures depending on the level you're teaching. The next section is topic of the month where you paste a few pictures of the um, vocabulary you're going to be teaching in that month and then there's main sentence structures that you'll be teaching in that month. And then we have a holiday of the month. Here in China basically we have at least a holiday in a month, sometimes two holidays, sometimes more than two. But in our board, I choose to take on an international holiday to always put something about an international holiday since we also have at least one international holiday every month. We find related pictures and paste them up too. Um, finally, we have the quiz section here you can have one or two pictures and then you write one or two questions about those pictures and ask your kids. One thing I want you guys to take note of is don't paste anything up without teaching it. Yeah, that will kind of derail the process. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do and thank you for supporting us.